Y'all ready to get in the Word? Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Amen to God. How many ever just had the Lord give you two or three things and amen to God you just had to really wait to the last minute on what what you're going to preach. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, it's like that for me tonight. I've had two or three different things going on in my mind. Boy, I've been eating off of them. Hallelujah. And when coming down here, I said, Lord, I said, I know what I'm going to preach. I said, that's what you showed me. And then sitting right there on the pew a while ago, the Lord told me to do something else. So, praise God. He knows what He's doing. Hallelujah. Yes, He does. Glory to God. Go with me in your Bibles, please, to Philippians chapter 1. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 1, beginning at verse 18. Amen to God. Come on. I want to just say thank God for the opportunity to get to preach. Amen to God. Amen. I love to preach. Amen to God. If you're calling of God, you ought to love your calling. Amen to God. Amen. I see some preachers, Brother Billy, they, they act like it's a hassle to have to get up there and get something and get down and pray. And I tell you, what we need today more than anything else, we don't need no more fancy speakers, no more fancy singing. Amen Come on. to God. What the church truly needs today is to get back on its knees Come on. at an altar yeah. and pray and seek the face of God. Amen. Praise God. Let me say that again. What the church Amen. really needs today more than anything else yeah. is to get back down on our knees again Come on. and pray and seek God's face. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, praise God. I thank God for, for revival meetings. I thank God for guests, you know, preachers at times. Amen. But what truly, praise God, is going to help the church and help the world that's lost and dying is prayer. Praise Come God. On. And that's one thing that the church is lacking today is prayer. Yeah. Amen. See, we get together and we will say about a 20-second prayer. We'll pray when, amen to God, we'll pray over our food. Lord, thank you for the food. Thank you for the family. Blah, 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 blah. Amen. So we can eat. Come on. But do we truly get down and have a, 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 a fellowship, a relationship, communication with the Lord? Come on. In a natural relationship, if you don't have communication between you and your spouse, it's not going to work. Amen. Praise God. Separate a husband and a wife for 30 days without talking to one another and see what happens. Usually nothing good. Hallelujah. Got quiet there. Amen. Whoa. The thing is today, we have separated ourselves from God. We won't go and seek His face. We won't, look. We won't stay and wait for His presence. Praise God. I love, praise God, what we do here before we start the service. We get down on our knees and seek God's face. Whoa. And we need to get back to that today. Amen. Amen. God is back to praying to the Lord. Amen. Philippians chapter 1, beginning in verse 18. Of course, reading from a King James Version. Come Bible. On, amen. amen. Somebody, if you got a King James, it well, everybody better say amen. amen. Praise amen. God. I ain't going to say somebody. If everybody, praise God, in here should have a King James Version. Go over to God going on over 400 years now. Go ahead. Come on. Praise God. Yeah. Somebody got mad at me the other day saying, praise God, oh, I read from the King James. They said, well, we, we have an NASB. I said, well, then we're going to be in hell on the bookshelves down there, praise God. I said, if you want to find the version of the Bible in hell, you'll find them all with the King James version. Amen. Come on. My that's going to get me yelled at, but that's all right, praise God. The devil will show you his personal collection of Amen to God in his library. We've got an NIV over here. we got a new King James over here trying Come to on. correct it. Amen to God. A living Bible and that old garbage, the message Bible. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. God. He will gladly give you a tour through his library when you get to hell if you're reading those versions. Because they will lead you astray. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Ooh, I, could, I could preach that. Glory to God. I may have Come to do on. that next time. Get on down. Amen. Philippians chapter 1 beginning in verse 18. And the Bible says, What then? Notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. Aren't you glad that they, they made their mind up they're going and Amen. will rejoice? Amen. Amen. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer, and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation and my hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, To live, amen, to God is Christ, but to die is to gain. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. 
Yet what I shall choose I wot not. For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Somebody say amen. 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 Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. See, Paul here, praise God, hallelujah to God, he knew it was better for him to stay because he still had work to do. Praise God. Now don't get me wrong, if Jesus called me home, I'd want to stay. But you got to think too, there's still so much more to do. Yeah. There's still so many people out there that's never heard the gospel. Amen? Come on. Praise God. Verse 25. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me by my coming to you again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's, that is powerful scripture right there. Praise God. Couldn't have said it any better. Hallelujah. And I want to use for a subject tonight, if the Lord will help me bring this out to the best of my ability, without prayer, without prayer we can do nothing. Come on. Without prayer you can't minister. Without prayer you can't sing. Without oh. prayer you can't share your faith. Yeah. Without prayer you can't do nothing. That's why it's so important today to pray before you do anything. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. But somehow the church today feels like we can do everything but leave prayer out because it's time consuming. Well, you know, there's no time limit with God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I, think, I think one of the worst things that the church has done today has got wristwatches and time clocks. Come on. I think they ought to take them all out and throw them out the door. Praise God. Because yeah. we get so bound up in this time issue. Without prayer. Father, we come before you now in the wonderful name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for that name. Thank you that we're saved, that we're sanctified, redeemed, filled with the Holy Ghost. Lord God, we are set free. Thank you for the liberty we have in you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that we're king's kids, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, we've been, hallelujah, saved from the devil's hell. Hallelujah. Father, I pray, Lord God, tonight, let not your word return void. Minister to everybody under the sound of my voice here at VOTL and out there through the airwaves. And Lord, if we've done any wrong, forgive us, Lord, and wash us in the blood. And we plead the blood over this service and command the devil to leave. In Jesus' precious name. And the church said, Amen. amen. And amen. amen. Praise God. Well, I'm going to do our, our normal welcome. Praise God. Welcome to each of you here tonight to VOTL. You've been here, but still welcome. In the amen. name of Jesus. And let's everybody welcome our internet audience out there through YouTube and Facebook. And the VOTL channel, praise God, and all the other avenues. Tyler, turn the camera around to the church, and everybody say, praise the Lord for you. Praise the Lord for you. And throw this in, I love you. Love you. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. So we're glad you're tuned in, and we pray something said tonight will minister to you. Amen to God in the name of Jesus. Without prayer, praise God. You know, there's things in life, amen to God, you've got to have certain things that goes with things in life, hallelujah. You can't mail a letter without a stamp. Come on. Amen? Yeah. If you try to send one off, they'll send it back to you. They'll say hey, post is due. Amen? Yeah. So you got to have certain things to go with things. Amen to God. You can't use an ATM machine without an ATM card. Come on. And even if you have an ATM card, you got to have a PIN number. Amen. Or you can't get no cash out of your account. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't take a bath without water. Some folks try. Come on. I heard the other day that they're making this new stuff now you can put on your you can put on your hair without having to wash it. Uh -oh. All you gotta do is like a like a mousse stuff, you rub it in, and it's supposed to clean your hair. I'm sorry, I still got to have water when I take a bath. I was shouting, Amen to God. I was shouting glory in the shower today. Lori said, What's wrong with you? I said, Thank God for the water that goes with the soap to wash my body. Because I wasn't smelling too good today after work. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen to God. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing mean wrong with that. Praise God. God may sweat. Praise God. We sweat. Amen. Amen. Some folks don't, don't sweat because they don't do nothing. Amen to God. In the physical or in the spiritual. Now, I wonder I wonder if we examined ourselves if we looked at our spiritual sweat. Amen. Ooh, that could prick over to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, man. That's two messages now. Come glory. On. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, glory. So there's things in life, praise God, you've got to add things to to make things happen. 
So it is in the Spirit. You can't do things without prayer. Amen? Come on. And we need to be doing more of that today. Hallelujah. Yeah, that a Glory to God. Without prayer, we cannot experience continual rejoicing. How many believes that? Amen? Amen. I've never known us, praise God, to get our, our, our answers to prayer without getting down first and seeking the face of God. Yeah. Praise God. Because we pray, Lord, save so-and-so. Lord, heal so-and-so. Lord, oh. touch so-and-so. Give them their deliverance. And when they get it, then we can rejoice. Somebody say amen. 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 Let's go back to verse 18 to 19, amen, to God here in Philippians. What then, notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached? I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. Amen? Come on. Glory to God, for I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Amen. See, that's the answer, to pray. You want to be continually living in joy, amen, to God? Pray, hallelujah, Come on. To God. You want to, hallelujah, you want to learn how to praise God? Better pray. Pray. Hallelujah. And that's not hard, amen, to God. Pray, hallelujah, and God will help you, praise God, to rejoice better. Come on. Amen to God. How many wants to just praise God and worship Him better? Amen. Hallelujah. For the last few weeks, amen to God, the Lord has really been showing me, amen to God, that, that our worship is not really what it should be. Yeah. You know, we think of worship and praise as just, I mean, and, and it is, singing and rejoicing and sanctifying, but praise and worship is so much more. There's a deeper level to it, amen, to God. And you know, when you get down and pray, I don't, I, I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. You get to a point in prayer to where you just, you let go of the, the, the carnal thinking to where you pray everything in your mind, amen, to God, everything that's come to you, you know, oh. pray for mom, dad, the husband, the wife, the job, the money, the, this yeah. and that. But you get, if you just hang on in there and keep praying, how I keep Seeking the faith. The Bible says, Amen to God. Asking it will be given. Amen to God. Knocking the door will be open. Seeking you shall find. Come Praise on. God. If you keep seeking after the Lord in prayer, Amen. it may take an hour. It may take two hours. It may take three hours. But if you keep seeking, you're going to find Him. Praise God. And when you get to that, praise God, He's going to take you into a level so deep in Him. Praise God to where it's all He wraps Himself around Come you. Come on. Amen to God. How many knows what I'm talking about? Amen. You got to that point in prayer to where it's, it's been not you anymore, but Him praying through you. You're praying in the Spirit, praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen to God. And hallelujah. That's when you really know how to pray. That's when you're praying from your heart. Amen. That's when you're praying those prayers. Amen to God. You're interceding for somebody or a situation, praise God, where you're actually touching the throne room. Amen. And that's what we need to get to today. Hallelujah to God. See, how could Paul be continue to rejoice here? Praise God. Paul went through so many trials and tribulations, amen, to God in his ministry. Praise God. See, Paul, before he was Paul, was Saul of Tarsus. He was a religious man. He knew the law. Yeah. Amen to God. And he thought he was doing God a service by killing off the Christians. Come on. And see, that's what some of them do. See, the Muslim faith today, they think that they're doing Allah a service by killing the Christians off. But they're so wrong. They're like Paul. They're deceived. Amen. They're blinded. Amen. They got the spirit of Antichrist has got them blinded up today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So Paul said here, Amen to God, he would continue to rejoice. Amen to God. No matter what was going on, I believe it was Acts chapter 20, verse 24, Paul says that none of these things are going to move me. Amen to God. None of these things are going to bother me anymore because I've got my eyes on Jesus. Amen. And my mind made up. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you can say tonight you've got your eyes on Jesus and your mind made up? Praise God. No matter what the doctor tells you, no matter what the devil tells you, you've got your eyes on Jesus and your mind made up. Amen to God. 